all right guys so um yeah so i'm getting ready to go on lunch um so i'm gonna do quite a bit of reading during lunch to try to get caught up uh right now i have only finished one book out of the four books i wanted to read i believe i think there was four books i've read one i'm listening to the other right now i'm about two and a half hours into it um i'm, wa I'm listening to the winter people while i work so yeah so that is my update stay tuned guys so I also decided to go through my year in books so I read 6,700 pages um, I read 24 books which wasn't my goal this year but I thought that was a pretty good um, year shortest book I read was the turn of the screw um, which was 121 and the longest book I read was sleeping beauties which both were absolutely amazing my average book length is 279 the most popular book I read was *The Becoming* or *Becoming* by Michelle Obama, and the least popular was *From Inside the Asylum*, which was about uh, Forest Haven Asylum in Maryland. It was like a pretty good book. Uh, my average rating was 4.5. I don't really rate books the way they should, but you know, highest rated book I read was *Becoming* by Michelle Obama. Um, this was my first year review, my first review of the year. Excuse me. Uh, this was like a customer service book. And then here's just an overview of the books that I read this year. I read a lot of self-help, um, a lot of customer service stuff. I'm actually rereading The Haunting of Hill House. I'm finally finishing it because I DNF'd it last year, but, you know. This book right here, I'll Be Gone in the Dark, was absolutely phenomenal. And I have read the, um, I read the whole book, listened to it on audiobook, and... I watched the series on uh, HBO as well. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you watching this uh, and reading it. It's super great. So, yeah, I only read 24 out of 52 books because I wanted to do a book a year or a book a week. But, yeah, so that's my stats for 2020. All right, guys, so I am here for, like, a touch base. So I'm at 45% of the winter people, and it is phenomenal so far there's so much like mystery and uncertainty like there's people missing people are dying there's witchcraft involved it's just crazy it's so good i literally haven't stopped listening to it in the last four hours so yeah um i pause it a little bit every once in a while to like answer the phone do an email but other than that like i've been constantly going because i just started the book this morning so yeah it's phenomenal. I cannot wait to end it and tell you guys what I think. So stay tuned. home finally I have myself some I have a snack I have some pizza snacks and I got myself a drink love this water um and pretty much what I'm gonna do is excuse me I'm gonna finish reading um the winter people excuse me I'm so sorry um and then I'm going to start The Haunting of Hill House because I found an audiobook for it so I'm going to listen to the audiobook and I'm going to um, read the book along with it. So that's my plans for tonight. That'll be two books down. Karen Slaughter's uh, Snatched. I'm going to finish up tomorrow as well. I'm like halfway through that book. So hopefully by tomorrow there will be three books off my list. Wish me luck, guys. Alright, guys. So I just got done with The Winter People. And let me just tell you wow okay it was so good um it was kind of like so this one woman's daughter dies in the beginning right and she's stricken with grief and she wants to try to bring she does everything to bring this little girl back to life well her aunt knows of like a ritual and so she ends up bringing her back to life but 
she doesn't get back the way she's supposed to and it gives me Wakewood vibes if you guys have ever seen the movie Wakewood that's exactly what it reminds me of um, but she comes back for like seven days it was so good I rated it four stars if you uh, follow me in Goodreads down below you guys can read my review for that but now on to Blanky I'm gonna want read Blanky and finish Karen's daughter's um, snatched wish me luck alright guys so get ready to go on lunch um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I finished Karen Slaughter's Snatched. Didn't realize that it was a part of an eight book series. So, that's fun. Um, I guess I just didn't realize that I missed so much of the books. Um, but it was fairly easy to follow. Even not reading the books before um, or after because I think it's 5.5 so it was pretty good um, it kept me on the edge of my seat um, it kept me interested so it was good right now I'm reading Blanky hopefully you finish that today but so far it's been a great reading week for me and today is Thursday so it's been great so stay tuned for the rest of the video guys <laughs> guys so I just wanted to do a quick check-in I'm on page 30 of Blanky and it is crazy good like it this little short story caught my attention from the very first page um, but right now I'm at like okay so their daughter died and they found her blanket in a room I don't want to give you too much info because I want you guys to read it but then um, him and his wife start to like recuperate and everything like that. And then his wife dies from an accident of choking on the blanket that they found. It's just, it's crazy. I don't even know. There are so many, so many emotions going on right now. Like I was like, oh, I'm going to take a break and I'm not going to quit reading it. I'm going to quit reading it, whatever. There's no way. I'm going to finish this book today. Probably before I leave work. I don't know. It's so phenomenal. But I'm super loving this. I'm, I love getting into these kind of stories. But it's really, really good, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to finish as much as I can. And uh, I'll follow up with you in a little bit. Alright, guys. So we just got home. Um, we had dinner at the Winchester today. It was phenomenal food it was a little expensive it was like 73 dollars but it was really great food we got um i got a new york strip steak medium it was literally probably the best steak i've ever had so that's a plus eric got cajun chicken pasta um we split like buffalo shrimp it was just phenomenal so right now i'm gonna finish reading blanky and watch some tv Hey guys, so I thought that um, this reading vlog would be a good chance for me to unbox my book of the month uh, box. Got my book of the month box today. Um, I actually wasn't expecting it this soon, but I figured I'd go through it. So I decided to rejoin in January, and I'm going to do it per month until fe or until uh, December to try to become like their BFF thing and get like all the extra cool stuff or whatever. So my actual book of the month pick this month was... Um, the Survivors by Jane Harper. Um, I heard really great things about this and reading the, um, you know, like the description about it really caught my eye. So I decided to get this as my book of the month. Plus I typically always just pick the thriller book of the month. 
The next book I got was um, a very anticipated read of mine, which is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Um, I actually just borrowed this from my friend Chrissy because I wasn't sure if I was going to get it in time to read it during um, this like bookathon thing that I'm trying to do, uh, the Winter Ween. Um, but yeah, I got it, so that's fun. And last but not least, I got Goodnight Beautiful by Amy Molly. Um, this was another really uh, highly rated anticipated book and then in here we also got the little thing of like what the top 20 or uh, 2020 books were like the uh runners the runner-ups i guess or the finalists and then this was the one that won so that'll probably i'll probably add that to my book of the month for next month then of course it always comes with the book of the month bookmark and empty box so yeah that is my book of the month unboxing. I just thought it'd be uh, appropriate to add it to like this book reading vlog. So hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, guys. So <laughs> I'm extremely tired right now. So I'm gonna need to go to bed. But I am on page sixty of seventy eight of Blanky, and um, so far it's been great. Oh, the bunny's gonna say hi. Say hi. He's been my reading bunny. Yeah. Um, anyways. So, it's about a haunted blanket or something. I'm not quite sure. I guess haunted would be the term right now from what I know of the book. But, like, the blanket killed his daughter, killed his wife by choking her to death. And as he's feeling around on the blanket and stuff, he finds hard stuff in the seam of the blanket and it's baby teeth. So, yeah. I don't know. It's really good. I really don't want to quit reading it, but it is currently 12.02 in the morning, and I have to work at 8, so I'm going to go to bed, <laughs> but I will uh, follow up with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to read the rest of it in the morning, probably either before I go to work or right when I get to work. Hey, baby. Oh, he's such a lovable bunny. Yeah, he loves his mommy. Yep, this is Demo, everyone. We got him back. Yeah, we got him back. That's so sweet. Um, but yeah. So, I'm gonna either finish it in the morning when I wake up, or I'm going to finish it as soon as I get to work in the morning. Um, what do you want? What do you want? And he's like quit talking and, and pay attention to me but um yeah then I'm gonna start the haunting of hill house which is um my book for the challenge read a book with haunt in the title um I actually have the audio book as well as <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> you're so silly look at him anyways um I have the audiobook as well as the physical book. I'm going to actually, like, listen to the audiobook and read it along in the physical book. I think that's what I'm going to do for that one. I don't know. We'll see. But, alright guys. Well, this is it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. And we will get uh, another book out of the way. I'm excited. It's been a great reading week so far. Today would be day four. Um, tomorrow's day five of the readathon, um, winter ween. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope everybody is having a great reading, um, experience like I am. And good night, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, it's Steph, and I am back today. I am getting ready to finish reading Blanky. Um, I think I'm going to finish it after I start this book right here. Um, later in the day because I do want to get through a little bit of The Haunting of Hill House today. Um, like I said, I got it on audiobook as well as, um, uh, yeah, physical book. Obviously, you can see I have my physical book here. But um, I'm just going to listen to it and read along to it in the dark. As you guys can see, it's dark around me. So I'm actually at work on my lunch, and I thought it would be really cool to just turn off the lights and 
read the book, listen to the book, because it's scary and it's dark and, you know. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Alright guys, so I am completely done with Blanky. Um, it was a really, really great book. Um, so long, it's about a story where this guy and his wife buy a blanket from like this vendor at a market. And uh, the, he believes that the blanket's haunted and the blanket kills his wife and his daughter. And he goes through all this crazy shit. Well, you find out in the end that it might have actually been him doing the murders the whole time. It was just, it left me hanging. I really wish I, there was more to the story because he just, like, disappears from his jail cell. But, yeah, anyways, it was great. Um, and I read, I read up to part two, which is 32 pages in to The Haunting of Hill House. I will probably finish that book tonight. And then, yeah, there's going to be one more section to this little vlog video for the week. And then I will do a second one for just the weekend. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so I decided instead of going home and always just reading at home, I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble and look around and um, grab a couple um, of the books that I've been reading and uh, yeah, maybe sit down and read for a little bit. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh. They're having a buy one, get one half off sale right now on books. Couldn't have picked a better time to come. I am so excited. Okay, so the first book that I'm looking for is Detox Your Thoughts or The Coffee Bean. I've been wanting to read that one for a while. Hmm, I don't see either one of them. Let's see if there's more on this side. A few. See, I really want this book, um, The Four Elements, or The Four Agreements, I mean, but it's ex more expensive here, so I'm just going to buy it off of Amazon, but yeah, uh, I don't see the coffee bean, let's look over here, I'm going to get me some thriller books while I'm here today, check out the fiction. Alright, 
Now we're in my section. I'm actually reading The Shadows by Alex North right now on Libby. So I really don't think I want to buy it. But I do have some specific books that I'm looking for. Um, looking for The Haunting of Bryn Wilder. And... February's read for the um whatchamacallit book troop book club so that's what I'm looking for right now wanted to share all of the beautiful journals one of these days I'll be able to get the one that I want but so many oh my gosh that one's so pretty I love this one right here so pretty a lot of Peter Popper press so good I just love it. Here's an overview of my entire Barnes & Noble. I could get lost in this place. Love as much. But yeah, so this is the end of my uh, video right now. There will be a little bit later when I finish up reading um, probably The Haunting of Hill House. And that'll be my week vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.